Hello everyone, how you doing? I'm Tintin57, welcome back. And how about a spot of fishing? There's been a few of you guys telling me to put more fishing North Atlantic on the channel. I've done one video on this before, and uh, I've not played it at all, I don't think, for two or three months, maybe, something like that. Uh, but I thought I'd just dip in. This is actually on sale now, by the way, on the PlayStation Store. I know a couple of you guys have told me that you've picked it up. This is the Enhanced Edition, which is basically the upgraded PS5 version, which looks very nice. I'm going to jump into Korea. We'll do a bit of a bit of something. And we'll have a chat about this, and you guys can let me know if this is something you want to see on the live streams, because we can certainly do this live. Um, so here we are. I've travelled to a place. There's some dolphins there, look. I've travelled to a place where previously I've had some... Su uh, uh, Tongue-tied again. <laughs> had some success uh, with locating fish. And um, I thought, I'll try this place again. We're in the selfie. This, this boat is called the selfie. I'm rigged up for net fishing right now. Uh, we can quickly go inside the cab and have a look. See the dolphins there swimming ahead of us. Um, let's just get out of the seat and have a walk around. There's a picture of the selfie there. Um, let's go outside. Here's all our nets ready to go. Actually, we'll grab one of those. And uh, we'll prepare it. Uh, we also need to get our crew members out, so let me just try that as well. Uh, there's the crew menu. Our crew guy is resting. We're going to need him to um, get the nets out for us very shortly. So if I now close this, you should see him. There he goes. He's going to stand at the back for us whilst we cast these nets. He doesn't look very happy at being woken up, does he? From his rest. Well, here we are. We need to... Um... That's weird. Now I've got stuck. <laughs> um, we need to put the sonar on and go and have a look if we can locate some fish. Then when we do, we'll get him to cast the nets. Whilst we do that, just have a look at this. I mean, it's a lovely looking game, isn't it? This is the Atlantic Sea, or Fishing North Atlantic, as it's called. This is the sequel to Fishing Barents Sea. I think I did a couple of videos on Barents Sea, but I, I mainly played it offline, just just personally. And I went through that and got the Platinum. So when this one came out, it came out for the PS4 first, and I knew this edition was coming, so I wanted to wait. For the enhanced edition and, and this is it it's been out for some time now and it is in the sale so just check it out so let's sit back here we'll go to the outside view and uh, we'll put the hood back on now what i need to do is switch to the sonar so you can see there on the left hand side at the bottom that's a range of 500 meters in front of the boat you can see some fish coming up there's lobster um, so basically we want to cast our nets into there. You can also move the range. So 250 metres in front, we've got fish. 100, we've started to get fish. 1,000, you can't really tell on there. It's quite shallow, isn't it? 65 metres to the bottom. Um, I usually have it set to between 250 and uh, 500. Let me just zoom the map in on the right hand side. Um, in the hold, we've got a capacity of 18,000 kilograms, uh, which is good. But these fish are starting to uh, to run now, so uh, we're going to want to cast the nets. If I put some... Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. If I put some uh, power in now, we can uh, get our guy to uh, cast the nets. If I hold circle... cast the net we need to keep this bar 
in the center then we don't damage the net that's the aim so the acceleration of the boat when you cast the net is all done for you so it goes to a certain speed hopefully we'll catch some of these fish that are passing under the boat just now so that's net one so you can see that that buoys there or buoys depending which part of the world you're from uh, that's our first net now what we need to do is um, jump out quickly let's get the next one I think I've got seven nets there's a maximum of ten that you can have but I've got seven just because of the cost I think it's something like 300 pounds or is it pounds what am I in what's my uh, finance is it dollars it's in dollars so it's three hundred dollars uh, for each net that you buy so I've got seven so I haven't got the full amount of nets yet uh, but that's because if I go any more than seven nets I end up filling up the boat and I've no storage space so fish gets wasted so that's no good um, you can upgrade the storage uh, but I'm not planning on keeping this boat very long. I want the bigger boat, so I haven't bothered upgrading the storage beyond the default storage that comes with it. So let's cast another net out. Now it will let me do that if we're a certain distance away from the previous net. I can't remember how far that's meant to be. Let's try it. It's letting us do it. So once again going to cast the net. You see on the minimap down the right hand side at the bottom, see where those nets are. I'm kind of heading towards those fish icons, which is where I've marked last time where they all were. So we'll see how we get on. We're coming towards this land. So it's a 75 meter net you can see on the left hand side how much longer we've got. So that's that one. Let's get uh, another net ready. So this is the procedure, it's quite simple. Depending on what fish you're catching, you can rig your boat for different uh, uh, different types of fishing. This one I think you can also do lobster and line fishing on this one. But you can only rig it for a certain type of fishing at one time, so this is, this is net fishing. This is easier obviously because you don't have to um, buy any bait you can literally just buy the net and cast the net and it's a lot easier so let's put some speed in let's check the radar ahead of us so we've got quite a in, within a thousand meters we've got quite a lot coming up and within 500 so we want to be casting this next one anytime now so let's do that So to do this you do need a crew member. So certain types of boat, I think the boat that you start with is just a one man boat and that's line fishing. I think this is the second boat that I've bought and I'm just building up money to be able to buy something a lot bigger that has a lot bigger capacity, bigger engine, bigger sonar. All those parts are upgradable um, but they cost a lot of money. And in the early days, you don't make a lot of money from the fishing, so you have to start taking loans, and there's a whole business side to it. Right, let's check the radar ahead again. Again, within a thousand is quite a lot. So, let's just slow down a little bit. So you can't set the net without first passing the net over to our guy here on the back. So let's do that. We've got one ready now. So we can actually set it now. So you see. So let's get to the wheel to steer the boat. So just press triangle for that. And once this net's out, I'm going to turn to uh, the right. Or is that starboard if you're on a boat? 
port is the left, I think. Starboard is the right. Because we don't want to get uh, we don't want to get too near that land. It's, the bottom's 72 meters away at the moment, but you can run aground. Uh, then you've got to claim the insurance if you've got insurance, which I haven't. If you completely wreck your boat and you haven't got insurance, that's your boat gone. So be wary. <laughs> it once happened to me in the old game, but I cheated because all I did was I'd not saved the game. I went back to the old save, so I just lost like half an hour's fishing. So it wasn't too bad, but yeah, insurance is probably worth taking out, especially if you're new to it. Right, there's our next one. Let's check the radar. Quite a bit coming up within 500 meters. So I think we will drop one here. No, I need to check because I seem to remember the last time that I played this for one of the fish types I'd reached the maximum quarter for that fish type uh, and again you're able to extend that uh, but I didn't do so I can't remember which fish that was I'm hoping it's not pollock because pollock are quite common Just while we're doing this, by the way, in the actual menu itself, you can see you can see the map. The map's the map's pretty big. Um, if I uh, zoom all around, you can see where I've marked fish at different times, good fishing spots. I've been kind of all over the map. I started off with lobster fishing. Actually, is one of the first things that I did. Um, but you see on the left hand side the different fish types that are in the game and uh, we've got different seasons so you're only allowed to fish for some of these during certain seasons um, if you go to the logbook the logbook's very good because um, you're your statistics of what you've caught uh, it also tells you what gear you've got, what sails you've made, but the wiki is one of the things you'll want to really look at because if you look at fish types, uh, let me go down to fish types, you can see where I was talking about fish seasons, it's a bit like farming simulator where you can harvest and when you can plant if you've played that and you know I've been playing a little bit of that recently in the last week. Um, there are fishing seasons, uh, you can see you know Pollock is all year round, swordfish, certain certain season, etc, etc. So be wary of that as well. Now you can't catch all these as I said because you need a certain type of boat to do certain fishing, e.g. swordfish needs a special type of boat. Um, but when you start you'll be you'll be catching lobster or you'll be net fishing or you'll be line fishing generally to get going. Um, but um, yeah in this it tells you all about the baits and what bait to use and the catch probabilities if you're using that bait, things like that. Different methods of fishing, your quarters, what that means, how your sawing R works. You'll spend quite a bit of time in this if you just start playing. Um, but it's very good. And I need to set a net for our guy. Looks like we've got two nets left. So we'll prefer that, we'll get back in. We've got quite a bit of fish coming up right now actually, so let's put one in now. The sea's quite calm today, uh, but you do get some adverse weather and once you get to winter, there's snow, there's rain, there's thunderstorms, it's, this is good weather believe me. Uh, and sometimes you're trying to collect the nets which we'll do shortly. And the sea is buffeting you around so much, it's it's really, really difficult to do it. So there's our next net down. We've got one left. So let me quickly set this net up, then we're ready to go. Um, 
Netherlands. Keep an eye on that radar, let's put some power in. Let's look again. So within a thousand meters we've got quite a few fish coming up. And again within 500 so let's just go a little way. So the good thing is that where I marked on the map last time as being a good fishing spot is still the same. So you can drive obviously from within the cab or the bridge. Is it a bridge in a small boat? Are they all called bridges? Is that just larger boats? Not sure. But you can drive from this angle or you can drive from outside as we saw. Let's take a look. So within 500 there's quite a bit. So we'll get ready to, I think we'll just come over this rocky outcrop on the bottom. And then we'll place this one right in the middle of those, uh, those fish there. Let's put it down now. So as it's saying there on the left hand side, if you decide you don't want to put the net here, you can stop setting the net. The problem with that is that you'll damage the net uh, and you get a repair bill for that once you get back to port. So it's best to kind of decide that you're definitely putting down the net before you do it. And that's the last one. So what I can do now, because we don't need our guy anymore, let's set him to rest him because we will need him again. There he goes back in the cabin. So he's resting. So down on the minimap you can see there that all the nets are set to red. When they turn blue that means they're ready to be collected. Now that usually occurs somewhere between 21 hours and 25 hours generally. That's the best time to, to pick them up so we can skip time. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go back to the map, just zoom in a little bit and what I'm going to do is fast travel right to where net one is so that we're at the right end. So start the fast travel, which obviously allows you to uh, cover bigger sections of the map without having to sail all the way. Although, you know, it is nice to drive the boat some of the time. Because I've always wanted a simulator that is kind of like a shipping simulator. I've mentioned this before on the other live streams. Um, because there isn't one. Microsoft used to do a ship simulator on PC, I remember. Uh, but that was very basic. That was quite a while back now. And... Um, I don't think there's anything like that anymore. This is probably the nearest we'll get to it, so... I do like to just sail around. And if you look at the previous video on the um, channel, I actually took a cargo job, so no fishing at all, and we were just transporting across the map, which was, which was quite nice. And you can do that as opposed to just fishing as well. You can still make money. So check that video out if you've not seen that one. For now, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to skip time. So if I go to net one, I can see that net one has been down for two hours, eight minutes. So if I if I skip time, if I skip time, say 20 hours, that'll be 22 hours, eight minutes. So let's skip time and see if the net changes. So to do that, I can come to the clock. And it says anchor, so you can skip up to 24 hours. So if we skip, if we skip 20 hours, that'll put us at 1500. So let's skip. Now, you see the mist has come in, which is quite nice. 
So can you see? Can you see now in the hood, the blue circle around the nets in the hood at the bottom? That means they're ready to be collected. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get our guy, and we're going to put him on net hauling. Close that. There he goes. You see, he goes over to the to the table. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the first net and bring this in. So it's just a case of looking out. Now these these buoys or buoys, you can upgrade these to be easier to see. I can see it in the distance. It's right off the nose of the boat. You can just just about see it. Uh, but these are the upgraded ones. I've upgraded these so they're easier to see. Because believe me, at night it can be a bit it can be a bit difficult to uh, see these. So these ones, I've actually got lights on as well. So if I'm doing any fishing at night, I can see them. So that's one of the things I would recommend to do. Um, as for now, we're going to come up alongside net one, and uh, we're going to pull this in and see what we've got. So all you have to do is, you can see the two ends of the net. You just have to pull up alongside so that you're sort of parallel with it, like this. And then a semicircle comes out at the side. And as long as you're in a straight line, this is where the buffeting that I mentioned can be a problem. It's quite calm today. So I need to, see I'm up and down on the waves just now, it's swelling a little bit put some power in just to move us forward two knots so you need to do it slow and as long as I can get the first one in and be in a line it'll turn green hold X right so here we go so what I need to do as he holds the net in I need to catch the fish in between those markers and I missed the first one nearly it was okay but so we got eight fish that one was perfect so you do need two people for this he'll hold the net you've to grab the fish or you can do it the other way around but if your crew member isn't very experienced then uh, you can end up losing fish. So this part, it's like a mini puzzle. It's probably best you do this to begin with. So let's bring these in. So you can see there, 1,928 kilograms of fish was caught. And that's basically how you fish. So we need to go to net two now. So my other advice would be, as we did with most of these, try and set them in a straight line. Because it's so much easier when you come to collect them. You can already see the boys in front. Marking out where the next net is. So we just need to repeat the exact same process. So I need to turn so I'm parallel. I might have just overshot this one unless I can turn the nose slightly. So the swell again is pushing me backwards, so I'll put some power in. Try and steer into it. There we go. Right, so here's our second net. 13 on this one, so this is a good catch, this one. Couple of perfects.
So we just do this until the whole net is brought in. Then we move on to net three. So we've got 1800 kilograms from net one. Let's see what we get from net two because there's more on this. Two more to go. Also, the number of fish that are passing here, it says 13, that obviously doesn't represent the weight that you're actually hauling in. It's, it's representational. So yeah, there you go, 4,438 we got from that one. I can already see right in front of us, you can just see the marker again. So let's do number three. In the hood on the bottom right hand side, you can see how much we've caught and where we are against our total capacity. So we're not doing too bad at the moment. We've got, looks like 6,300 odd kilograms out of 18,000. So this is our third that we need to haul in. So let's do that. Yeah, see, I just went a little bit wide there. So I'll reverse back to it. Just snake it back a little bit. Put some forward power on. So there's a lot of fine movement of the engine just to get where you need to be. It can be tricky, but practice really, that's all. So we've got 11 on this one. So I'll bring these in. Again, this, like a lot of these games we play on this channel, is a very relaxing and satisfying game. You can easily spend an afternoon doing this. And uh, it's always nice to upgrade to the next boat because the boats are so different. Some of the boats you can have several crew members. This, this just has a capacity of one crew member. But um, I know in the last game, I got up to uh, quite a number of crew. I had five or six crew on one of the boats. Um, and I just got a message there saying my quarter for Pollock is now filled up. So if I catch any more Pollock now, I, I risk having a fine and the fish gets wasted. Uh, the nets are already in now. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, but I'll carry on. So Beaners collecting the rest of the nets is just a repeat of this process. I'll go ahead and I'll collect in the rest of the nets and then we'll come back and we'll have a look what we've picked up and uh, how many kilograms we've got and then we'll go through the selling of the fish at the market. Okay, so that's all seven nets in now and you can see there that uh, we've got nearly 14,000 kilograms and uh, because of the issue with me going over the quarter, well meeting the quarter for Pollock, I obviously I lost quite a lot of fish because of that. I'll need to I need to get a new quarter, I think, um, so that that doesn't happen again. So we would have easily filled the whole storage of the boat um, had that not been an issue. So um, what we need to do now is we need to go to the port. We need to sell the fish, but before we sell the fish. We also need to gut the fish. So if you're of a nervous disposition, you might not like this next bit. There's two ways you can gut the fish. You can get your crew member to do it, but my crew member is very, very slow at doing it. It's easier for me to do it myself, even though I'm not that accurate at doing it. Um, but for now, what we need to do is we need to 
look at the fish prices and you can see there at the top uh, you can choose your your port and what it will do is it will give you the historical prices of of each different type of fish um, so you know which is the best uh, port to dock in and, and get paid so you just change town with the uh, triangle and you can see there uh, for purposes of this video though just to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel back to where I started uh, let me just zoom out which was over here at English Head now that's quite a way so I'm going to fast travel across there so if I click that it says it's 5.3 nautical miles it seems a lot longer than that um, but the time to destination will be 1 hour 25 in this boat if I was doing it really so I'm going to zip right across there first of all and uh, we're just outside the port the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the crew back to resting you see his green bar at the bottom is his stamina bar always make sure when you can to rest your crew because um, you'll, you'll need them now as I mentioned what we need to do is uh, gut the fish so I haven't docked yet until I keep my finger on X I haven't docked so my tip for gutting the fish is you can see at every dock it's fairly calm and you need a steady hand for this one if you start doing it in the middle of the sea that's fine you can do it whilst you're traveling back if you're traveling back manually but doing it at the dock is fairly straightforward um, and uh, I'll show you what I mean so if we go over to the the gutting fish table because we need it as calm as possible and this is another mini puzzle you can see there's a little X there and there's a line going across so you have to try and gut the fish you hold on to X and you've got to gut the fish from side to side it's not easy maybe it's not X <laughs> it's the right trigger <laughs> So, you can see that, that it gives you a rating for how good you were, and I'm terrible. And this is why you need to um, be somewhere where it's calm. Now, you can sell the fish without them being gutted, but you don't get as good a price. So it's always best just to do this, and you're not gutting every single fish that you've caught. You can see the, uh, what's ungutted and what's gutted at the top. So you know how long you've got left. So we'll quickly zip through these. I'm not bothered about it being a, a super accurate job. But you can see the boat isn't swinging. Not much. So you can imagine what kind of a terrible job I'd be doing if I did this at sea. Especially if there's any waves or a swell coming up. So let's get through. We're down to 12,500. These smaller ones are much difficult. I think these are mackerel. You can get into a rhythm with this. It just takes some time. That one was terrible. And I don't think I've ever got more than three stars. I don't know how you get a five star, to be honest. I've never seen it. Not with the manual gutting. Um, the bigger ship you get, some of these tasks are manually, uh, sorry, automatically automated for you. So you don't have to do it and you can have the opportunity to make a little bit more money by being accurate. Um, but in this case, on the smaller boats, you've got to do it this for yourself. Now you see the red fish, uh, you can see the underbelly there, you can see a bit better where it is. I mean, it still wasn't even one star, that one. keep trying no stars on that one so I'm holding in the uh, right trigger and dragging the left thumbstick across so the knife goes everywhere <laughs> uh, but it'll be worth it and that uh, those kilograms are coming down now we're getting through it just 8,800 to go. 
As I say, if you get you, if you look at the crew members in the um, in the bar, which is where you pick these up, or the crew house, not the bar. The bar is where you get missions and tips uh, from the crew house. You, each each crew member will have certain skills. Some will be good at gutting, um, and some will be good at hauling nets. Some will be good at long line fishing. So depending how you've got your boat rigged up. You should choose your crew around what you intend to do. Now, as I said, my crew member that I've got, he's good at hauling nets, but he's not very good at gutting. Now, you can train him, but it takes a long time to do that. Uh, but the more of it they do, the more skilled they become. But it's, it's very slow progress with them. They don't get good overnight. And I've been playing this for a while, and I did exactly this task... In, uh, in the first one, in Fishing Barrent Sea. I've still not got any better, look. I'm everywhere with this. But we're trying. I know you guys now are going to send me screenshots and videos of you getting a five star. I just know it. That's how this channel's going. <laughs> right, we're nearly there. So we'll get this done and we'll get it sold. 2,000 to go. Nearly there. Ah, two stars for that one. I didn't think that was very good. There we go. So that's that's all the gutting done. So what we can do now is, if I hold X, I can now dock. And what it does automatically, it will ask you, do you want to sell your catch? So if I just say yes, here's what we got. So on board, we had mackerel, we had pollock, what was remaining of the quota for pollock, and uh, we had redfish on board. So. We ended up taking $30,000 $30, just for that one little trip. Um, and you obviously need lots and lots of money to upgrade to the bigger boats because they're not, they're not cheap. And you're probably still, unless you're fishing these boats for a long, long time, you're not going to upgrade your boat unless you take out a loan. Um, so let's, let's sell it for 30000 You can see it's added it to the total there. We've now got $539,000. Um, the other thing I need to do, uh, if I can remember where it is, I think it is in dock. Is it in upgrades? Fishing quarter. Upgrade your fishing quarter for all species. See, it, the reason I didn't do it last time is because it's 200000 and it adds 20% for all fish. So I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to have a think about that. I can't just up the, I can't just up the quarter for Pollock. Unfortunately, I've got to pay two hundred thousand and up it for everything. So offline, what I'll do, I'll look at all the fish that I've caught so far, and I'll just make sure I've got enough spares. If it's worth doing the two hundred thousand, then I'll I'll do it. You can see we can make thirty thousand each time. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And the reason I'm going to do it is because. Uh, not that one, quarters. The reason I'm going to do it is because I lost lots of fish then, which probably would have given me another uh, another probably 15,000 on top of what we actually got paid. So it, it'll soon mount up. So let me let me just add that to the basket and then check out. So we're down to 339, but we'll be able to fish for Pollock again, which is good. And... That's it, really, for this video. Just wanted to go fishing just briefly and just show you around. Um, I want to know if you guys would like to play this on channel. I think this is a good one for a live stream. And, um, you know, for us to have one of our, our live stream chats while we play it and share some hints and tips. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already, if you want to see more of what we've got on the channel. We've got regular live streams coming up. Hope to see you in there, and until the next one, see you then. Take care, everybody.